Hello, showbots. You creeping on my channel? Good, because that's what I want you to do. I'm just not even going to address the hair color, because... I mean, y'all follow me. Y'all know this is a constant thing. It's constantly changing. What are you doing, Showbots? Just so you know, I totally did not film this last. I filmed this before this weekend's adventures. Totally. Trust me. I didn't. It doesn't matter that I have on a new Netherworld sweatshirt. I got it before I went to Netherworld. So don't ask me questions. I have had an absolutely amazing October so far. Hot Hop 2019, one of the best. Actually, every year is usually pretty good. So you probably hear us say Hot Hop a lot, or you heard me say Hot Hop a lot through the years. Hot Hop is what me and my family does every single Halloween. It literally started about 15 years ago, probably a little bit longer than that, maybe, maybe even 18 years. Years doesn't matter. We started going to haunted houses like maybe once, twice a month in October. And then as the industry growed, so did we. We started going every single weekend and through kids. What is your child's name? You'll need to unlock your iPad first. Sorry, Siri's being a dick. Through kids, yeah, and really nothing else. Family tragedy, maybe. We've endured. We've went every single year. And we plan to keep going. We're going to be some of those people that are like 60 years old with oxygen tanks, canes, walk along, push things. Still going to haunted houses because that's the kind of people that we are. This is actually our last weekend of the year and we've saved two of the best ones in Georgia, in my opinion, for this weekend. Zombie Farms. We're going to break this down into two reviews. I'm going to show some footage, do a review. So here we go. Not one, Zombie Farms. Roll that footage. Here we go. They've always got like a really creepy walk. Yeah, so this is how the Glover folk have to order food at Sonic. All right, so we are in Athens, Georgia. Part of town, part of ears. Uh, we're gonna try to blur this music out in the background because it's copyright. We're gonna get some reviews from the people that went with me, see what they think. So we're gonna start with Chuck. Chuck, tell us what you thought of the haunted house. I thought it was good. I thought it was better than last year. They had a lot more scares. I think they scared me a couple of times this go around. Well, it was very organized, which I always appreciate. People were on their best behavior. Lots of actors this year. Ah, uh, Athens. Best part about it, Sonic. I didn't even get a strawberry slushy. I love strawberry slushies. Got a milkshake, no strawberry slushy. Zombie Farms, we discovered by accident. I actually thought it was something that was probably a college-related event that might have lasted one or two years. Come to find out, a few years ago, we discovered that it was a full-fledged haunted house. We went one year, we've been hooked ever since. We've went, I think, four years in a row now. This year, they did the SPD. SPC, yeah, that thing. Creepy pasta about the facility that keeps all of the really crazy out there creatures, mythological, scientific artifact, monster thingies. Great explanation, right? And as always, it's really cool. We had a really good time. We didn't get to eat it anywhere really awesome like we normally do, except for Sonic. Athens has got some good old town restaurants. All right, so not to Saturday night, of course, is a place here. Netherworld. Legendary haunted house in Georgia. Massive haunted house. We've went probably, I don't know, 88% of their time that they've been open. I know I should have probably said years, but I don't know the year, so just get over it. Roll that footage. All right, so we are at Netherworld in broad daylight. This is a weird experience. All right, Dad, tell the camera what you just did. I didn't do nothing. Y'all done it. But what did you do, though? Stood there and watched all. But what did we do? Oh, we got out of the skate ramp. What escape room? Another world. We escaped the escape room. Not really 
in just our group, but it was the smallest set of groups I've ever really been with in Netherworld Haunted House, except for one time, which was absolutely awful, and I won't go there. You would only encounter groups, I don't know, maybe every 10, 15 foot or something like that. Normally, Netherworld Haunted House, you like one consistent line from the parking lot all the way through the haunted house. They can't help it. That's just how many people attend the event. They do the best they can with it. Our Hot Hop Adventures is over with for the year. Bring on Hot Hop 20. I'm already ready for it. Got this cool sweatshirt, which I can wear at any point in time, Christmas events, you know. You can always bust out a good Halloween related shirt, sweater. There's not much left of the month of October, but I encourage every single one of you, if you get a chance, get out there on the internet, hauntworld.com. Let me see if I can do this. Haunt World, should I go this way? No, probably this way. Hauntworld.com has listings of haunted houses in every single state. Get on there, see what's in your state. It does the human brain good to be scared in a safe environment, and if you love horror movies, go get scared. Just come out alive. Hope you enjoyed watching this. As I said, get out, especially if you live in Georgia, check out Zombie Farms and Netherworld in whatever state you're in. Check out haunted houses for your area. That's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed Halloween this year the month of October. I hope it's been colder wherever you live than where I live. It's just crap. See ya, and there'll be some links. Yeah, you know how this works. YouTube's been around forever. All right, bye.